Okay, guys, there's some drama with Keith Lee and a food truck, restaurant, whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to break it down like a football game. So there's this girl named Sherelle. She does volunteer work at a food truck called Sweetly Seasoned. It's ran by this lady named Kimberly. So to help it out, she made a TikTok video to rally up people to tag Keith Lee in hopes that he shows up. And you know what's crazy? He actually showed up. Look at this. He showed up. Now, for context, this situation is about money. Keith Lee donated $4,000 and tells them what to do with the money. I need you to see this part so that everything else I bring up makes sense. I appreciate y'all for having this. I see y'all giving out haircuts. Hi, little brother. Yeah. yeah. So we want to leave $1,000 to the barber so he can cut he, everybody. Oh, that's my little brother. He wants to go pick up my baby brother for yeah. school. We want to leave you $1,000 to cut hair. We want to leave you $2,000. Oh my god! Yeah, that's a tip. Yeah, so please charge my car for $4,000 and y'all switch it and y'all divvy it however y'all feel. Oh my god. Thank you. And after this, he says a prayer with them and he was on his way. Now, guys, this is where things get. Oh, by the way, get your tea and get your snacks, okay? Because I'm telling you, oh, this is about to be good. Now listen, after this situation, this is Sherelle. She's the one that took that video. She's inside the truck doing volunteer work, helping them sell food. Unless she got paid for some of the work she did, I don't know, that wasn't clear. Now, this is where the drama kicks in, guys. After Keith left, guys, the owner pocketed all the money. She didn't give nobody their cut. She didn't give the barber his 1,000, which I believe is Sherelle's brother. She didn't give Sherelle her 1,000. And then also Keith gave like another 800 to a thousand dollars and he said anybody out here or whatever just give him free food I'm paying for all of it. Sherelle was working back there. They gave out three free plates and then the owner was like hey 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 we done giving out plates they getting charged. That's what they told Sherelle. Sherelle's like what the fuck I, I thought there was free we're giving out free food. Keith paid for it. But okay. I guess people was coming back for extra cheesecakes and all types of stuff, and the owner didn't want to give her all this free food, so she was like, nah, like, they gonna get charged. Now, at the end of the day, the owner was like, hey, we just got paid through Square. It might take a day or two to, t to get your money, so just wait on it. Sherelle was like, I make money, so I understand, and I'll wait on it. A day or two later, Sherelle hits her up and says, hey, do you need workers? She's like, who is this? It's Sherelle. The owner says, yes, I have workers for today, and can you send me his info? Thank you. They was talking about something about menus and flyers. That's irrelevant. We got better stuff to talk about. Sherelle says, okay, I will send you his Instagram. And did you see if the money cleared? You can keep the money that was left for me. But my brother is preparing to leave to go back home. And I'm unsure how he'll get it once he leaves. The owner says, please call me back so an agreement can be made. Which is like, what the fuck? I mean, I, 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 probably, I was pretty sure it was pretty cut and clear what Keith said. Sherelle's like, I'm getting in contact with Keith Lee, and I will be posting a video about this. This is unfair to my brother, but it will be rectified. And I think there was a phone call right in between here. Sherelle says she calls up the owner, and she says, The thing about this money, I didn't invite you here, and I didn't invite your brother here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to send $1,000 to my son, and then he can decide how much money he's going to give y'all. Sherelle was like, this is crazy. I'm already letting you have my $1,000. I don't care for that. I already make money. But my brother needs his. The owner and the brother said, bro, your brother didn't even do no cuts for free. Your brother charged my son and a nephew $30, $40 for the cuts. Sherelle said that makes no sense because my brother was coming to do cuts before Keith Lee even showed up. Not one time he said, I'm giving out free cuts, free cuts. If I was giving out, he, she said, if he was giving out free cuts, the whole city would have been out there. Also, for the sake of understanding, the owner's son is Sherelle's friend. And I'll show you him soon. So Sherelle's like, bro, I came out because your son asked me, my friend, and I was in that hot-ass truck for free. And this is the thing she'll give me? This is crazy. And Sherelle said, if this is the type of time y'all going to be on, I'm ripping it up on the internet. I'm letting everybody know what type of time y'all on. Now, guys, I would like to introduce Trey. Trey is the owner's son. And he just made a response video. You know, bro, it's funny how all y'all got 200. This is crazy, messy drama, y'all. Okay, so let me address this situation and let me tell y'all the truth, unbiased of what's really going on. Basically, somebody wants clout and they want their name involved in this situation. Yeah, I'm gonna take it over because he was talking for like seven minutes and I'm gonna do this in like one. 
He said, Sherelle's doing this for clout. Sherelle's lying. Told Sherelle, we don't got to do all this internet stuff. We can talk about it privately and ask Keith Lee ourself. And all of you guys misunderstood what Keith Lee meant. Trey said originally he thought Keith was giving an extra $1,000 just out of the kindness of his heart. I don't know how the fuck he did that. Because we all watched the video. Then he said he realized that Keith wanted the $1,000 to go to free haircuts. But Sherelle's brother had to go out of town. Trey said if your brother's going out of town, bro, then we're not paying him $1,000. We're going to give that $1,000 to a different barber so that he can cut hair for free in front of our store. Trey said, since y'all care about this money so bad and I don't want to lose a friend, I'm going to take the $1,000 out of my own money. Which I don't know why he said that because Keith just handed you guys like five racks. And said he will pay it as soon as it clears. He said Sherelle didn't want to wait and took it immediately to the internet. Which is kind of confusing because literally your mom talked to her and said y'all not paying. So maybe there's a misunderstanding between Trey and his mom. Maybe I don't know. Then he said, I took $3,000 out of my own money to pay for this Keith Lee event. Which, I don't know what the point of saying that was. Because if you're selling food, most likely you're going to make the money back. It's your business and your mom's. He says, Sherelle is only doing this for clout. And if Sherelle was doing this out of the kindness of her heart, why is she dragging it about the money for clout online? Now, Trey said he did make a mistake. Trey really thought the barber was giving out free haircuts. Which is why he even told his nephew or brother, whoever... To go get go down and get a haircut too and then he got charged 30 dollars at the end which they paid trey also said he never invited that barber he just showed up and sherelle needs to stop lying because her brother did not do what keith asked he said if we didn't invite the barber why would we give him the money and at the end of it sherelle is basically a scammer <gasps> oh okay that took like two minutes now guys the comments was not going for this anyone that watched this video is like bro he literally said a thousand for the barber, a thousand for the person that braided hair, and two thousand for y'all business. Why are you trying to gaslight us? And Loki, I, I agree, bro. I don't think I misunderstood. A thousand to the barber, so he could take the money and find a place. It doesn't matter where. A thousand dollars go get free hair, cause I don't really know. But a thousand dollars for the fucking barber. Now, guys, I got more. This just keeps going. The owner made a TikTok explaining her side. She said the only reason why Keith Lee showed up was because of her son, and that's it. Which is crazy, because we all just saw this. We, <laughs> we know what's up. She also said she didn't ask Sherelle to be there, which I think they keep doing that to be like, we didn't ask you to be there, we didn't ask you to be there, so why are we going to give you money? But on top of this, she said, but my son is the one that invited her to come. So it's like, it, it's so fucking confusing. Do you and your son not coordinate or talk? I don't know. Out her own mouth, she also says her son and Sherelle was marketing the business online. Keith Lee even came in and said, hey, I saw your live stream and I saw your live stream. Now, she said some things that's contradicting. So at this point, guys, I'm going to say the mom was just really just unsure about a lot of things. She said her son is the one that called the barber to cut his hair or something. I don't know. I think there was a different reason why the barber was there. And I think Sherelle said... That, like, it was just quicker to do a haircut over there. And I think the son thought he was giving free haircuts and then jumped in. Then another girl was invited over there to braid somebody's hair. And then they just happened to be there when Keith Lee pulled up. So then Keith Lee thought they were all part of their business. Possibly. Who knows? The owner says, none of them were part of my business. Which, by the way, when you say that, you're basically trying to be like, none of them were part of my business. So why would I give them the money? You keep doing things to try to back up why you won't give them the money. Now, I got to show you these two clips of her talking, and she explains why they don't deserve the money. She's a big TikToker. I don't know much about her. All I know is I built this business from the ground up. Me and my son. And for her to even think, because she called somebody out there just to braid her hair, that she deserve a thousand dollars and try to make it seem like. Now I could see if when Keith Lee said, "Give that barber a thousand dollars for free haircuts," he should have said, "Anybody, come on, who wants their haircut for free? Come on!" Then he would have deserved it. Then that would have made him with me. Because now you're helping me. You're shining on me. This man was not with me. He was only solely there because my son called him to cut my hair. 
Now, I would love to do the right thing. And I feel like I did do the right thing. Now, for her, and then I told her, on top of that, I didn't even have the money. He paid with a credit card. The money just hit the bank account today. I'm going to give my son what he deserves. And I would give her some what she, because she did market me that morning, but that's all she did. And he, I don't even know who he is. The barber, that's my son's head. He wasn't with me. Keith Lee, I heard he thought that they were my kids. They're not my kids. Th those were my son's friends. But this ain't even about money, y'all. This is about the principle. How dare you come and make it seem like this was something that it wasn't. You were supposed to be out there to support Sweetly Season, a struggling business. And then you turn around and make it seem like it was something that it wasn't. I dare you. I dare you. And yeah, for everybody, I'm just, I'm getting emotional because y'all have no idea how much work and effort I put into my business. Shut up. She just said that Sherelle is making this something that it isn't. But like, guys, I don't have to say it. Me, you, look at me. This is, is this gaslighting? Answering the, is this gaslighting? I don't think that we're making it something that it's not. It's, it is what it is. We all watched the video. Keith Lee said, whose money is what? And you're on here trying to be like, it's our money. If, if, even though Keith Lee said, give it to these guys, they don't work for me. So we're not giving them the money. This is literally what you're doing. Like, let's, like, this is what you're doing. think I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, I want Keith Lee to tell me, after him knowing the truth now, if that man tell me to give them the money, I'll give it to him. Because I've been doing, I'm in for doing the right thing. Are you? If he tell me to give them that money, knowing that they was not with me, and, and just let y'all know she's a scammer. Guess what, guys? Mm, you about to love me. Make sure you smash that like button. Because guess what, guys? Guess what, guys? Keith Lee just made a response video. And as I was making this video, this happened 45 minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah. This is for the team. This, I'm so fucking, this is what we live for. Let's watch this shit. To be honest, there's not much to talk about, but there are a few conflated and confused things that's going around about the situation. So let's talk about that. Three days ago, me and my family went to Sweetly Season Food Truck. Number one, nobody had any idea we was coming. They found out we was in Dallas like everybody else found out we was in Dallas because we was posting videos in Dallas. So in hopes of us coming, they had t-shirts made and they was on live all day. So me and my family went in cahoots with none of this. We was all under the impression that they were a team and this was a normal routine for them. The barber being there, the braider being there, family being there, a lot of people being there. This is our first time here. We are customers. We have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. Number two, I was never under the impression that haircuts was free. Again, my family was watching the lives. We knew that he was cutting hair for $40. So when we walked up and I said, I want to get $1,000 to the barber to do free haircuts and $1,000 to the braider to braid hair, it was because in the original video, the son said it was slow due to marketing. That's marketing. God willingly, after we post a video, there will be a line out the door. If there's a line out the door and there's a barber and a braider doing hair while people are waiting, that's marketing. So again, it's in the hood. You play some music, you cutting hair, you braiding hair, you're all sitting out, you're having fun. It's a parking lot barbecue. So again, we don't know the behind the scenes if they knew each other, if they didn't know each other. And the reason why I didn't pay everybody individually, the interaction that you see looked longer than what it was. It was really only like a five minute interaction. Within that five minutes, 30 to 40 people pulled up. They was pulling up in droves. That parking lot was getting deep, fast. And for me and my family safety in general, I don't never carry cash around. And nine times out of 10, if we tip, we always do it through the POS system. And even if we wanted to do it a different way, Zelle and Apple Pay wasn't an option because it was four or five people at the same time on live. So for safety reasons, they wouldn't be able to say their phone numbers or their personal information out loud. And as far as them taking my phone and putting their number in on Zelle themselves, I wouldn't hand them my personal phone to nobody. So the POS system was the option that made the most sense. I've learned through this journey that sometimes it's deeper than the food, it's deeper than the marketing, it's deeper than the customer service. And this is one of those cases, in my opinion. Sweetly Season got a lot to figure out, and I thank God in advance that they do figure it out. The last thing I'm going to touch on is the son is misconstruing something that I said, and I don't appreciate it. After I said out loud in detail what we deemed the money to be used towards, I also said y'all can divvy it out how y'all feel necessary. Meaning, after the money hits, because it's a POS system, it don't hit the same day. Y'all can send it out through Apple Pay, through Zelle, through Cash App.
drive, through check, through cash, however y'all feel necessary to spread it amongst the team. I thought and I still think that that's a very clear statement. But it's being misconstrued, in my opinion, intentionally misconstrued, that I said and the mom and the son can say who get the money and who don't get the money. <laughs> Keith Lee did tell her to distribute the money how she felt necessary. I never said that. Regardless of what was going on behind the scenes, I felt on my heart to do what we did. So for the mom to go on the back end and disregard where my heart was at and what I felt like God was telling me to do in that moment and distribute the money how she felt necessary is 100% wrong in my opinion. I see the memes and I see the jokes, but I am not in the business of shutting businesses down. Her actions did not sit right with y'all and her customer base. That resulted in the situation that she in today. We just ate the food and left a tip pray in advance that everybody in this situation stays safe. That's my biggest concern. Look, y'all, I don't got much to say. He said it all. He said it. I feel like this a motherfucking more you are the fault. We got what we we got what we wanted. I want to see what happens now. Is everyone going to get paid? Is the money going to get there? We about to see. Also, Sweetly Season, they killed their reviews. It's, it's tore up. This is before Keith Lee responded. It's tore up. It's gone. People is mad as hell. So this post-it is getting crazy. Okay, by the way, guys, I typically don't give my opinions, but I need to say this. Y'all just had Keith Lee pull up to your food truck. That means tomorrow and the next day and the next day, everybody in your city was going to come to your truck. If you were smart, you could just gave everyone their money and said, here, here you go, bro. You still got two grand. And the next day, you was going to make two or four bands anyway. You was going to make like two or five every day. You was going to get, you was already going to get that. But you just fucked it all up. And this is what happens. And I really thought that Keith Lee wasn't going to respond because as black people and we got like I'm, no race shit. But white people already kind of don't, like, not all white people, but, like, they don't look the best about people. So, like, seeing this, Keith Lee attacking another black business, it just don't look good for us as black people as a whole. So I thought he wasn't going to respond. But they was ripping up his comments, so he had to. And now I'm low-key upset for Kimberly because she could, this was a, such a great opportunity and she just kind of fumbled. You just fumbled it. You fumbled it, Kimberly. Please make a video and apologize. Please show us a video of you giving her money. And now what? You know what? Because Sherelle didn't ask for money, send Sherelle her money too. Give the money back, bro. Give the money to who's who. Show us you actually care. Now, after this whole situation, guys, look at this video that Kimberly, the owner, posted, bro, about her business. Now, guys, the comments got muted, but I'ma just, I read them. People was thrashing, bro. They was like, good, glad, glad you, it was, it was terrible, bro. I'm so sad, because it's like, bro, I want good things to happen to people, bro. But this, this, you know what? God wanted you to learn, Kimberly. I'm sorry, bro. God took, God took your blessing because you didn't appreciate it and you didn't share what you had. Kim, bro, Keith Lee shared with you and you're supposed to share what you got given and you didn't do that. So now your blessing got snatched. And I'm sorry, bro. I love you. I'm so sorry. But this, you will not learn from this, bro. Okay, guys, it ends here. As I always say, <sighs> what do you think about this? Guys. We are becoming a problem. 1.5 mil and Facebook kept banning us. So we made a YouTube. We kept putting in the work and now we're getting a play button, y'all. We about to get a play button. Now, as I told you guys, I'm really a music artist. I love making music, but I make all these videos because you like them. So can you please follow the page for me? Now, outside of all this, remember, dead gang, it was just you and you had a plan. You have come too far to end it right here. Did you forget all that work you just put in? I know you're discouraged, but you are close. We get one life. And on dead in them, we ain't going out like no weak motherfucker. If they want us out the game, they're going to have to take it from us. So when this video goes off, don't forget to pop your shit, star.
I would've done anything All you had to do was ask And now that the damage is done I can't imagine ever taking you back Is it that hard to keep it a stack? Cause all of your promises looking like cap Cause when I was calling your phone I already knew where you at <laughs> I tried to give you a chance While you doing me dirty I thought you'd be the last one to hurt me Till you put a knife in my back You cannot say I didn't love you to death Baby I knew you was bad for my health But I thought I was covered by reinsurance That you would give me it kills me to know That I would give a kidney if you got sick just to find out what you really had wanted on all this time you were hitting a lick Don't try to tell me I'm misunderstanding You know I don't know, I like to be gaslit This ain't the first time you ever did fraud It's just the first time that you got caught Man